former secretary to the government of the federation, Chief Olufalai, on Sunday decried the worsening insecurity and poor state of the Nigerian economy. Falai, who addressed journalists in Akure, Hundu State, said Nigeria had become the corruption and unemployment capital of the world. The other statesman insisted that if the activities of bandits who were already shooting down military jets were not checked on time, they would soon develop the boldness to negotiate for control of territories in the country. He added that Nigeria was already at the edge of the cliff. He said, we are already at the edge of the cliff. The question is, are they going to topple into the abyss below? Or are we going to find a way of pulling back from the precipice? That is the question. For us to pull back, there must be a political initiative that we signal that tomorrow will be better than today. If there is no such signal, I don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. I don't know. Hmm. Everybody is afraid. Everybody is afraid. Even those who are ruled before, those who were in government before, they are even surprised that, wow, the kind of boldness that we have now. And if you listen to what Gumi has just said, you, you will be, you will be f frightened. Hey, if you know what is happening in this country, and this man is saying it boldly, he's not even hiding it. You know, for some time he has relaxed. I mean, Gumi, he has relaxed with this uh, campaign or the crusade that has been going on about a uh, government should do this, government should do that, government should do this. And this is where they are going. <laughs> he just want them to, he said the amnesty being given to them or the peace arrangement they had with them, the government of some northern state had with them was just a political amnesty that is not the real amnesty. So which one is the real amnesty? Because they were complaining about, what do they call it? They complaining about how their cattle were, were rustled. But what Gumi is trying to tell us now again is all about Islamic uh, Sharia law, Sharia law, Sharia law. That because they were not allowed to pass practice Sharia law, that is what has given rise to the insecurity and the rest of the things that he was just trying to put in there. The only thing I could really deduce from what Gumi was saying is just talking about the religion and the Sharia law. Hmm. Well, we are talking now that... Uh, the man is saying now that uh, Nigeria has become world's capital for corruption and unemployment, adding with uh, the poverty, the headquarter, the world's capital for poverty, now employment and corruption. So what is now left for the country? Is it not a fair state? And some people are telling us that uh, they are giving the country a bad name. They are trying to diminish the country. Did not put us in all this rubbish embarrassment and disgrace because anytime they are in power they are coming with hidden agenda to manipulate dominate conquer terrorize deceiving and they use the yoruba messengers as far as we remain with the north nothing good will come from nigeria sincerely speaking though they use yoruba a lot to achieve their hidden agenda but not only yoruba many Igbo edo is now part of the bad wagon you are right I think you are still ignorant of the fact that of that you that is talking you are part of Nigeria problem since you are playing the blame game. <laughs> Why would they not play the game? If the people who are really playing the major role are the Yorubans, which is true. But we know that other people too they have joined them or they were they are part of it. But because of course Yoruba is a is a big race compared to other minority tribes, definitely the Yoruba name will be ringing or the Yoruba tribe will be ringing louder. We have a lot of them, just like I said, we have all these bad people across across board. They speak the same language, they understand the same language when it comes to corruption and selfishness. They speak the same language. May the hands that hold this Nigerian's blessing be cut off. May God bless your you in million food. The northerners are the one are the only one who put us in that situation. It is a general trend among the Nigerian people, irrespective of tribe and gender. It was with the northerners who are afraid of losing resources available in the north we can see the governor of casino city now say oh the the, the courts should not grant the or uh, the state's autonom autonomy they should not grant their autonomy to be able to do what they are supposed to do as as, as a federating unit i don't understand we say we are practicing a federal system of governments and in reality it is unitary system of government this is how it ought to be. And somebody say, no, 
you have to share everything together bring what whatever you want and uh, i will still contribute let us know first bring everything together they will share you do your own make i do my own it's that has become the problem and that is why they don't even want to hear anything let's even leave a breakup of the country oh. but anything restructuring they don't want to hear it at all they don't want to hear it at all well thanks for your contribution but first thing first return those monies you cutted away from the government when you were the sfg we appreciate your sweet talks how about is fulani oligarchy let it start from those people first the bible says first remove the log in your eye in your own eyes then before you can remove other people's own uh the one uh your people cutted away yet and see siphony are they have they returned them yet your region remains the poorest in the country constituting nuisance to another part of the country with your begging or kada riding banditry terrorism hell no 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 pulling back chop i chop divide nigeria and let me be all hail biafra please sir me say it again baba falaye this is one of the negative effects of sap you and ibb implemented so baba shut up your mouth make shut up your mouth Sir, it is a pity, but I am part. Um, you are part of of those that lost the battle to saying the truth. Most of you that has been on the high table of running the affairs of this country lost your conscience to lies, fraud, selfishness, and hypocrisy. Whenever you people got to the seat of power, forgetting the Yoruba adage that says, ni odun egun." Also. Okay, this one is speaking uh, big parables here. And that is the problem. Most of them now, they are talking now like a Joy Boko, like a Femi Adeshino, like those ones, all of them, even Keyamu, all of them talking about because they are eating now. Because most of, majority of them, they have been looking for a way to be part of those people who are siphoning, who have been siphoning the, the country's uh, resources. So they were like, ah, if I have the opportunity of getting to this uh, place too, maybe say I will go to cut my own national keiko and they don't care they don't now i i remember one i saw i come across a video of a one cleric a pastor okay maybe prophet let's just be when somebody was asking that ah see the suffering that the uh, ulufala is going through the esme he said forget it and just like somebody cited that during the uh, babangi that time the same thing that they were all supporting and doing this and that when they were supposed to take drastic action you see Oshiba too now is playing what I don't understand. As, as time goes on, maybe a time we will now call, they will now begin to talk. But you, know, you have the opportunity to do the right thing. If not, people say you should resign. Some people say, well, you cannot resign. Oh, ah, you want them to, to delete him. That is it. But now they will not, they will not be talking. We have the likes of a Joy Bokwe, Femi Adesino, all of them are talking pra, 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 because they are eating from the table. But a time will now come that it will not be difficult for them. They will not become ordinary people. All that they have acquired will not be able to save them. Now, if you go ask this man now, you just hear, oh, he was the one thing, one thing, one thing before. All his farms and whatever that he just put together. Somebody said, oh, he, he built all those things with the Nigerian money. How true that is, it's not for Nigerians to be able to fish that house. But what is happening now is what he's saying. All of them, in one way or the other, they contributed to the failure of this country that we are experiencing now. 